and it, this is a staple in, uh, in the, the LGBTQ uh, owned businesses, right? Yes, yes. right so, in the heart of Wilton Manor. Right in the heart of Wilton Manor, and we're gonna try some flavors. I've got my ice cream shirt on, I got my ice cream earrings, I did an outfit change just for the stop, so I'm ready. Okay. Wait, this is their butter? famous, he's not worth it. You have two? Vanilla English toffee, Oreo cookies, heat bar, soft caramel. Oh, and sea salt. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Ready? Mm. He's not worth it, but this is. They have cannoli cream as a topping. Wow, oh my god. I love it. <laughs> so cute. Welcome to the Stonewall Archive. Um, what you are looking at is. 2,700, we measure archives in terms of linear feet. So this is 2,700 linear feet of material. Wow. Oh, look at this. Have you ever been in an archive before? No, I've never been in an archive before. I believe that's more than 6 million pages of material. So how do you conceptualize 2,700 linear feet? Imagine going up the Empire State Building and down the other side. So uh, some of these actually were printed with um, watercolor ink. So you could go home and take a tissue and remove the posing strap and turn the photograph and the magazine into a new, which is pretty, pretty cool. That's really high tech, actually. Yeah, yeah. Human, human beings are resilient. Yeah, you know, the things that we do to get our erotic materials. It's <laughs> one for me. It's called Dyke Max. Yeah. Animals and lesbians on the farm! <laughs> where are all the queer women? And I said, they're at home. And Dyke Magazine confirms we're at home. That's where we are. So we do collect t-shirts as well. Oh my god. I oh, know please. where to donate all my tie-dye <laughs> yeah, shirts. When you die, this when is I die, you'll you be. can archive all my uh, all my gay apparel. Calendars lesbians, I'm intrigued for people to come into a space like this, see themselves represented because so often when you're coming out, you can feel really isolated, like you're the only person going through something, and something like this can be like, yes, there's there's people who've gone through what you've gone through and look at what they've done and how they you know they've made art or they've done this. We want to see our joy. I was just so perfect, I'm like speechless, that was great. <laughs> so we are here at Hunter's. This is an institution in Welton Manor's neighborhood, an amazing place to drink and dance and meet with friends. We mostly have DJ, uh, DJ shows. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, occasionally have uh, drag queen shows. Mm -hmm. Ever since we've opened in 1982, we've always had an all-welcoming mantra. Mm -hmm. Fun, friendly, everyone's welcome. Like any self-respecting neighborhood, a top-notch brunch spot is a must. Wilton Manors is home to Rosie's. It's a tropical oasis in the heart of the neighborhood. Its breezy Key West style patio is a festive place to nosh with your pals on quirky comfort food like award-winning burgers, big salads, brunch staples, and an amazing daily drink special. The water taxi at Fort Lauderdale is one of the best ways to see the city. You can get sightseeing and explore Fort Lauderdale at your own pace with this hop on, hop off tour. The narrated tour stops at 11 different places throughout Fort Lauderdale. The captain and crew is able to share facts about the gorgeous homes, the yachts, and South Florida's history while you get to enjoy the beautiful view. We are here at Fort Lauderdale's Pride Center. So we're gonna go in and see what it's all about, but if it's anything else like the rest of Fort Lauderdale, it's probably fabulous. The Pride Center is one of the top 10 in the country. The five and a half acres of property at Equality Park, the Pride Center provides a welcoming safe space that celebrates, nurtures, and empowers the LGBTQ plus community from health initiatives, training, exercise classes, art gallery openings, HIV testing, prevention, education, outreach, active agers, wellness workshops, theater performances, the list goes on, the Pride Center endeavors to be the premier point of connection to our community. We are here at Claudio Castillo Art Studio with the woman herself. So can you tell us about your amazing space that you have here? This is my art booty gallery. I have all my art in here. I have guest artists. And usually I do one of the month. Uh, uh, a guest invitation. Um, I have um, a sculpture. I have um, different uh, artists in here. And all this is my art. 
Everglades Holiday Park continues to serve as South Florida's premier gateway to the state's most exciting natural attraction, the Everglades. The park offers everything from guided Everglades airboat tours and live alligator presentations to food, souvenirs, and freshwater fishing. Flamingo with some of South Florida's resonant fauna. Flamingo Gardens Botanical Gardens feature over 3,000 species of rare and exotic, tropical, subtropical, and native plants and trees. Flamingo Gardens Wildlife Sanctuary is home to the largest collection of Florida native wildlife, including alligators, bobcats, eagles, otters, panthers, peacock, and of course, flamingos. There are so many fun things to do in Fort Lauderdale, whether you want to hang out with flamingos, get a closer look at an alligator, or experience the best of LGBTQ nightlife, Fort Lauderdale really and truly has it all. There is so much to do.